guys guess what i found you won't believe it i found the new genesis gv80 at the auction this car is rare to really find it at the auction and this is like epic i don't know should i say epic but hey <laughs> i found it i'm gonna show you guys just watch yeah it's out here genesis gv80 and you won't believe it this is nice this is really nice but this one unfortunately was involved in a bad accident and not just accident i think it was a combination of flawed and accident as well but hey this car is expensive and it's not cheap it's, it's a it's one suv that everybody would love to have and it's not your cheap suv and yeah we're in here this is it the genesis genesis gv80 and this is the same one that tiger wood was driving when he was involved in an accident and this car has too many uh, safety um, not safety issues but a lot of um, safety packages that comes with it and I think that really helped Tiger Woods during the accident and yeah this is the car right here this one like I said was involved in a bad accident and the car is in severe condition yeah like i said the whole rims and everything was ripped off you can see it looks like the car tumbled somehow and this is really bad it's out here at the copa auction and yeah it's out here waiting for somebody to come pick it up so you can buy cars at auction just make sure that you know what you're doing the title make sure everything is in place they have savage title cars clear title cars flooded titles non repairable you just have to be careful man if you don't have experience with auction cars you can dm me if you want again i found another tesla right here it's a tesla and it's a tesla and i think it's the motor x this one was in a severe accident wow tesla cars are they really reliable when it comes to saving lives because we've heard a lot of news across the nation that some of them were catching on fires and i don't know if it was a default system that cost that but but I still like Tesla cars, you know. It's just that they are kind of too expensive for the average American and I wish they can do something to bring down the price. I really love it, especially now that the price for gasoline is expensive and the price for groceries and everything is going off the roof. You know, this would have been the best time to own a Tesla car so you don't have to spend so much on gas. Yeah. That's the Tesla, right? That's the car. Yeah, that's the Tesla car. Walking backwards. Yeah, that's the Tesla car. Tesla Model X. <sighs> Too many cars. Too many cars. And sometimes you come out here and you are confused. You don't even know what to look for anymore. Just look at there's so many, so many cars to pick up from. I found a Ford Bronco. Ford Bronco, I found this one. It's a Ford Bronco. Whoa. Ford Bronco. Yeah, you have it. It's a Ford Bronco. Yeah, it's a Ford Bronco out here. And uh, it's really nice. It's a good day out today, and the weather is not bad. It's not that chilly. It's a Ford Bronco at the auction. Cool 
let's check out the Ford Bronco. This is the interior. Uh, what happened to this car? This car probably was in a flood damage. I don't know. You can see the display on the screen showing you some Ford horse display. So uh, I'm thinking what happened? Was this car in a flood damage? Yeah. See right here. Ford, 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 Blanco, Ford, Bronco, Sport. I'm about to pop the hood on the sky and see what's like on the inside, underneath the hood. Yeah. It's Ford Bronco and I'm gonna pop the hood and see what it looks like. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Now let's pop the hood open. Okay. So let's pop the hood. This is it. It looks really clean. That's because the car is only how many years old is this car? This car is 2021. 2021. So but yeah, it looks like the car has a flawed, flawed damage problem. I don't know, but I did not get the keys from the office, so I can't even start it. Should I have gotten the keys? I like it though. Fifty thousand? No, it only has only has five thousand. Five thousand miles. Five thousand. It's like brand new. Okay, let's keep it going. So, tell me what you would love to see in the next episode, and I'll show you guys. I found a Beamer right here. I found a BMW 7. What was that? 750i. Yeah, 750i. Whoa, I love Beamers, but the only problem or problems with Beamers is that they overheat sometimes and when they start bringing their problems to you, you would run away. So that is the problem with Beamers. I would go with Mercedes anytime, any day, because Mercedes are far more stronger than Beamers. Yeah. I don't really want to check this car, but let me check it since I'm already here. Okay, and this is the inside accident. Wow, yeah, auction cars. Yeah, it's really spacious. You know, it's luxury, it's a German machine. It's always, always luxury. You know, Look at this Mercedes. What Mercedes is this? Let me check the front first. I think this one has a V. It's a four cylinder Mercedes in the side. It's a little damage though, not a lot of damage. Wow, maybe I'm gonna put this on my list. It's a CLA 250. And uh, yeah, CLA 250. It's right there. It out. I can't open it from here because it's kind of closed. Yeah, it's not a lot of damage though. I'm gonna put this car on my checklist and see how much it's gonna go for. See, it's nice, but it's a little dusty because of that window. That was because of that window that was. Um, kind of 
left opened and that's where the dust probably came through but yeah it's a nice car this is the back and there's so many so many cars to pick up from i found it so yeah it is mercedes got some nice gmc pickup truck and this one is what year is this so say 2020 gmc Sierra SLT The GMC I don't really I think I would go for a Chevy more than going for a GMC I like Chevy's better Oh, I found another Bentley guys Hold on a second, let me show you guys This is a Bentley Bentley British machine It's a flagship very cool wow this one is in mint condition bro Woo! this thing is in mint condition man but it's the older version of a bentley this is not like the newer ones this is old but it's still presentable you know damn yeah it's a bentley bentley i found I'm gonna check this car out even though I'm not gonna put my price just gonna check and see how much it will go for let me see huh. tell me how do I look <laughs> whoa this is nice really nice this is really nice you know the gauges and everything <sighs> hmm. look at the quality leather quality interior you can tell that this is luxury you know just look at the richness of the leather you can see how rich it is you can tell that this is not a cheap interior this is quality leather seat even the carpet is quality you can see everything and this is nice man this is beautiful but the maintenance is not cheap it's not something you can just hop in every day and drive because you would run into problems quickly and it will be expensive to to fix let me go to the front seat yeah i was involved in a little accident and this is the impact so this car is probably a good car there's nothing wrong with this car i can put my money on that there's really nothing wrong with this car it was just that little damage 64,424 miles that is good you can't beat that yeah it's a Bentley logo <sighs> see that in this British machine you see the Bentley logo on the headrest it's a Beamer it's not a Beamer sorry Beamer is BMW this is a Bentley British machine and hey feels good it really feels good i will not lie feels good seated in this british machine it feels really good it feels like it feels like i own it right the way you can see me okay hold on let me take this green vest take this green vest off now check it i took my green vest off it feels like i own it right <laughs> it feels like i own it just look at me look at me like it feels like this is my car it feels like i'm seated in my car trying to take off <laughs> Woo. look at this it's a Bentley. Bentley but it's an older version you know like I previously stated and this is where the key this is where you put the key you put the key on the left hand side but again this is the older version they don't make it like this anymore you know yeah wow it feels good and it's really clean really neat and the owner or previous owner did a good job by keeping this car in a mid condition you know this is nice so if you ever owned 
a Bentley before or if you own a Bentley tell me what do you like about Bentley cars what is your favorite features that you like about this machine and what is the maintenance cost what is it like oil change uh, transmission floor change how expensive is it to maintain a Bentley look at this logo look at this <laughs> Ooh, look at this rested and I'm excited and I'm feeling good okay it's time to keep it going so let's move to the next car Now look at the new towel. This one only has, I think, 9,000 miles on it. And this is the new towel. This is the new flagship of the Chevrolet. Chevrolet towel. This one is huge, big. I like it. Very spacious, guys. Very spacious towel. And it's the new one from Chevrolet. Chevrolet. And this one says no brakes. You can see. Let me show you. This one says no brakes. It's a new Chevy towel. It's out here at the Copart auction branch. This one is actually ROS. ROST. Yeah. This is one powerful machine. This thing is a beast. Damn. Yeah. Nice interior. Panoramic sunroof. Deployed steering airbag, and you can see the screen on the dash. Let us sit nice. Here, yeah. oh, it's a little bit. feels good to sit in here I have always wanted to review this car and finally I have it in my possession and I'm gonna talk about it today so this is the interior this is what it looks like this one has a dashboard airbag deployed steering airbag deployed and I think the foot airbag is probably deployed too somebody probably took it off and this one has a panoramic sunroof. So this is, uh, what kind of leather seat is this? Yeah, Chevrolet. Ooh. And look at those gauges. Look at those gauges. This guy's nice and it's big. And it consumes a lot of gas. So if I was to have this car, presently in the US I wouldn't drive it I'll park it in my garage considering the fact that gasoline price is like record high and everything is shooting like fireworks the detailing this is look at this this is nice they have a Chevrolet in the uh, taillight wow <laughs> that's nice wow did you guys see that that's super nice Wow, okay. So, here, Chevrolet. And I think it's time to call it a day. This video is 19 minutes long. I hope you guys will like it and enjoy it. And uh, please place your comments in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to my channel already. Take the time to do so. And uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. I will see you guys in the next one. This is Ian Vevel. Peace.